Hey beautiful people, welcome to my channel in the Note Tarot 1122. Alright, so this is going to be a message for Taurus. Taurus, this will not resonate with everyone, so please take what fits and leave the rest. Please keep in mind that all messages for your sign will not resonate with you. Alright, so yeah, if this one doesn't resonate, make sure that you come back for another one. New subscribers, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here. All right, let's see. And if you do like how I get on with my readings, please hit that like button for me, okay? All right, so you have the Seven of Swords here and also the Four of Pentacles. All right, so there is someone in your circle that you are not trusting. And it looks like you are holding back from this situation, basically protecting your energy, your space, because there's a lot of drama going on here. What the heck? All right. Hmm. There also might be a need for you to be very strategic when it comes to your finances as well and watch your spending. All right, so you have the Ace of Wands here. So with the High Priestess. So you're trying to use your intuition regarding a new start. Um, this may be someone that is... Uh, Coming towards you as far as not a relationship, but friends with benefits situation or whatever. You may be trying to figure out what it is that they want. You're not trusting this person. King of Swords, like I said, you're focusing on your stability, using your intuition in this situation, trying to uh, discern what's going on with this person. You may be dealing with an Aries. Wow. Wow. Okay, so, um, yeah, you have a new beginning here. They're literally weighing your options, trying to figure out what it is that this person is up to. This is crazy, or someone may feel this way about you. All right, give me more for Taurus. What's going on here? Seven of Pentacles. All right, so... Trying to figure out if you should invest in this situation, give to this situation. Is it a dead situation? Is it going to flourish? Is it going to, is it worth your time? Three of Wands here. You're looking towards the future. However, you may be trying to figure out if someone is coming after you for stability because you have a safe home, safe haven, if you have finances here that they may be um, lurking, looking after. What in the hell? This is kind of mirroring Aries. Let's see, the different cards. Different cards. They have the world here. There may be some travel involved here, some forward movement. Nine of Pentacles, you're focusing on your money stability. You are seemingly happy, abundant, doing your thing, focus, and then you have someone coming in. Hmm. Look at that. So overall energy, if you want to collaborate with this person, if you actually want to take your time to get to know this person, allow them in. This could be someone that you've dealt with before. I don't know. We're going to see. Give me more on Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Taurus? Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. Okay, so someone is definitely coming towards you. This is someone that I think you are attracted to, but there's this person has some habits or some ways about them that kind of, you know, may seem a bit shady. Maybe it's the point that you've been through situations before and you're not so willing to open up. I don't know. I'm kind of getting that you uh, maybe discern something about this person's energy, um, questioning their motives, and it's kind of throwing you off a little bit. Maybe you and this person are have different, different backgrounds or something like this. There's something about this person that you're not trusting. Let's see. Give me the Four of Pentacles. Why are you holding back from this? Because you're stable, you're grounded, you have finances, you have a lot of things to lose. So you're looking at the situation from all aspects. Look, is it love? Is it passion? Is it sex? What do you want? What are you coming for? Okay. 
All right, give me the Ace of Wands here. Why is it Ace of Wands for this person? Hmm. Yeah, you're very guarded, protecting yourself. You've been through some stuff in the past. You have things to lose, finances, stability, money. Hmm. Money, 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 money. You might be on a mission to elevate at this time, too. And you may not want someone to come in right now to bring any type of distractions. Is it safe to allow this person in? Are they going to impede on my plans? You may be working towards something for the future. Planning on doing something. Planning on relocating, moving. And this person coming in right now is like, oh, dang. I wasn't expecting that. So you're reaching for your higher power to figure out if you should stay or go. Walk away from this situation and move forward. Keep up with your plans. Or should you commit yourself to this person, this situation? Let's see. Why is it? So? I'm sorry. The King of Swords here. All right. You're about to weigh your options with this person through communication, making logical decisions here, head over heart. Should I move forward? Seven of Swords. There's something about this person that you are not trusting. Look, you're not trusting this offer. You feel that somebody is being deceptive here. I swear, what's going on with you guys? All right, seven of pentacles clarified by the ten of pentacles. You don't want anything to affect your stability. If you if you invest in this, you have the ten of pentacles. You're worried if you sow into a dead situation, it's going to affect your stability. What you have going on at this time. By someone who may be inconsistent, only wanting one thing. Money, finances, a place to stay, temporary situations here. All right. It looks like you're wanting stability. Yes. Strength card. Standing in your power, moving forward, taking initiative to stay with your plans. Keeping on track, not really giving in to situations that have no roots, no stability, taking your time to question motives for this person coming in. Give me the nine of pentacles. <laughs> I think you're worried that this person is coming in for finances. King, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords, definitely making a head over heart decision. Um, quick to cut this person off, not being funny. You might throw this person a little bit of shade because it kind of looks like that there may be some conflict here. All right. Could be mental conflict all in your head about the situation. Could be some issues that are going on between you and this person going back and forth, a little bit of disagreements or whatever, some drama. So you're trying to figure out, should I allow this person to come in? I think this is more mental conflict than anything in your head, thinking about how is this going to affect my future? It looks like someone here is ready to have something stable, grounded. They're looking for their person. Looking for that match. Not willing to settle for less. I'm not taking whatever someone is bringing me. I know what I want. I work too hard to give up on my desires, my goals. So what is it that you want? What are your long-term goals? I'm working towards stability, my finances, building generational wealth. And what are you coming in with? Are you matching my energy? Give me three regarding the situation. Ooh. Okay, seven of wands, dropping your guard, seven of wands in reverse, moving forward, allowing someone to come in very slowly, taking your time before you invest in this situation, all right, putting in the work towards this situation, okay, 
you might have multiple people coming in after you at the same time. So you're vetting people. You have a lot to lose here. Using your intuition, trying to seek and source from the higher power. Ten of Pentacles, look at this. This is what you don't want. All right. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Wow, with the three of swords in reverse. This is a trip. What I see is, is that, yeah, there's a lot of conflict regarding you moving forward, okay? Your biggest fear is if I let down my guard, let this person in, um, finally, you know, releasing the, the issues that I had from the past, Ooh, not using the knowledge and wisdom that I've learned from the past, possibly from someone keeping me in a third party, rushing in, just bringing drama, conflict, you know what I mean? Coming in with confusion, it may affect my stabilities. So you're being very cautious about what it is that you do, who you allow into your life. Yes, you're waiting for secrets to be revealed. All things will be revealed. You could possibly be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your chart. Give me three more. I see why you're being cautious. Someone here is taking a long time to build their foundation. Save for the future. Get on your feet. You probably went through some adversity where there was some financial issues here. And it took you a long time to get on your feet. I'm not going to take these in reverse because I have my deck in reverse, which I don't usually do. You have the hermit. There's a lot of work that you've done um, by yourself. Spiritual lessons here. Some growth. Possibly a little bit of anxiousness. You know what I mean? Wanting someone to come in, but you're looking towards the future, okay? I need to have stability and everything in my life. So you're waiting for clarity also with this new beginning. Uh, making wise decisions here to walk away from things that no longer serve your highest good, all right? There are cycles that are closed out that you've worked on closing out, and now you have someone that's appearing in your life. And you're very hesitant about letting them in. Your biggest concern is dropping your guard. And this goes astray. And you end up starting back at ground zero. Someone is also concerned about someone coming in wanting money. Yes, so you're trying to use your intuition before you drop your guard because you have a lot to lose here. You have a lot to lose, sweetheart. Looks like you're pretty grounded, stable, financially stable. If you're not stable yet, you're working on that. So you don't want anyone, excuse me, to come in and rock the boat, okay? Take you off course to what it is that you, that you, uh, that you're wanting, you know? If I decide to go ahead and let my guard down, let this person in, is it going to adversely affect what I have going on? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let me get some angel answers so I can get out of here. Big happy changes. Yes. Listen to your intuition. No need to worry, okay? So what I would suggest is go ahead and take your time in this situation. What is for you is for you. All right, just be open to, you know, allowing someone to come in and love on you and just see what, what happens here. But if something is telling you about this person... If your inner knowing is telling you that you can't trust this person, I would go with that, okay? So no need to worry. Things are actually going to work out in your favor. Um, pray about it. Meditate on it. Ask for guidance and clarity. Ask for source to make it clear, all right? Give you clear, precise messages as to what's going on and be willing to listen to spirit, okay? And use your intuition and discernment, all right? So keep your eyes open, be vigilant, but also be open to new things. Don't be so closed off where only money 
and uh, stability is your main focus, sweetheart. You got to have full full circle balance as well. So you can have the money, you can have the financial stability and things like that. Um, be spiritually grounded and all of this stuff, but you got to make some room for some love in there, okay? So allow somebody to come in and love on you. Just like I said, use your intuition and discernment and most of all, ask for guidance and clarity when it comes to people coming into your life, okay? All right, sweetheart, have a good day. Bye.